Students with the same gender must be together. Again, we have five boys and girl, four girls. So, this time naman ang arrangement natin ay same gender. Okay? So, same gender. Unahin natin yung mga lalaki. Limang lalaki. Three, four, five. Tapos, apat na babae. One, two, three, four. This is your first arrangement. Next, mao naman mga babae. One, two, three, four. And then, lalaki. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, apat na girls, limang boys, magkakatabi sa ikon arrangement. Meron pa ba tayong ibang arrangement in which same gender must be together? So, wala na. Now, next. First arrangement. Magkakatabi ang boys, magkakatabi ang girls. Acceptable. Second arrangement. Magkakatabi ang girls, magkakatabi ang boys. Acceptable. So, ibig sabihin, meron tayong two factorial na arrangement. Okay, kasi dalawa ang arrangement natin in factorial representation that is equivalent to 2 factorial. Okay, now next, uh, same gender together is equivalent to the number of boys, boys natin, which is 5 factorial. Using ko lang yung 5, 5 factorial. Times number of girls, 4 factorial, and then the number of arrangement. Arrangement. Ilan ang arrangement natin? The 2 factorial. Okay? Kasi meron tayong dalawang arrangement. Doon nakuha ito. Okay? Dito. Daming arrow. Okay. Next, 5 factorial is 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And 4 factorial is 4, 3, 2. 2, 1. 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And 2 factorial is 2 times 1. Okay? 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 is uh, 120. 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 is 24. 2 times 1 is 2. Okay? So, 120 times 24 times 2. That is equal to 5,000. 760. So, there are 5,760 ways on how the students will be seated in which same gender must be together. So, recap tayo. Students with the same gender uh, must be together. So, 5 boys, 4 girls. Arrangement natin ay, yung unang arrangement natin, lalaki munang magkakatabi, tapos babae. Meron din namang babae lahat magkakatabi tapos lalaki tama. Okay, so we have two arrangements. So next. So that is just simply 5 factorial times 4 factorial times 2 factorial. In which that is equivalent to 5,760 ways. Okay, next. Letter D. Andre and Pauline wish to stay together. So this is true, tama ba? Say, kung classroom setting tayo, syempre, meron, 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 meron at meron sa magkaklase na magkakaroon sa, mag, na may, ang tawag doon, ang tawag sa kanila ay magka-MU, correct? So, may chances talaga na yung, na yung dalawang, dalawang kaklase natin ay gusto lagi magkatabi, okay? So, what if, uh, from the nine, uh, nine students that Mrs. Escoto have, uh, Andre and Pauline wish to stay together dun sa sitting arrangement mo. Okay? So, if that's the case again, meron yung arrangement muna natin. So, meron tayong available na nine seats. Tama ba? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Okay. Now, next, dun sa arrangement na yun, si Andre at saka si Pauline gusto magkatabi sila ng upuan. Okay? So, kung magkakatabi sila ng upuan, ilang arrangement meron yon. So, kung sa unang upuan, si Andre muna na una, tapos si Pauline. Okay? Doon sa pangalawan niya man, pwede naman na si Pauline muna, tapos si Andre, kasi ibig sabihin, magkatabi pa rin, magkatabi pa rin sila. Okay? So, ilan ang arrangement ng dalawa? That is two. Okay? And factorial tayo, so two factorial. So, itong arrangement nila dito, Silang dalawa ay 2 factorial na. Okay? Since nag-decide yung dalawa na magkatabi na, automatically, 
ang arrangement natin na 9 seats, hindi na 9 seats, hindi na 9 seats yung choices natin. Mas shorten na siya, tama? Kasi nga yung dalawa magkatabi na. So, yung yung arrangement ng dalawa considered na isa na lang. Isang arrangement na lang 'yon. Isang position na lang 'yon kasi nga automatic magkatabi na yung dalawa. Okay? And then ito, diretso lang tayo dun sa mga natitirang upuan. Okay, so bilangin natin yan kung ilan na lang, ilan na lang yung possible arrangement natin. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So, yun na lang. 8 na lang yung possible choices natin. Okay, paano naging 8 ulit? Kasi nga, si Andre at si Pauline gusto nila magkatabi na sila sa, magkatabi na sila ng pagkakaupo. Okay? So, this is 8. Or simply, in factorial representation, that is 8 factorial. Okay? So, Andre and Pauline, uh, stay together. Stay together. Okay? So, ilang arrangement ulit natin? 8 factorial times ilang ila, ilang possibility ng arrangement nila na magkatabi sila that is 2 factorial okay so 8 factorial is 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 4 3 2 and 1 2 factorial is 2 times 1 okay evaluating 8 factorial 8 factorial is equal to 40,000 320. And 2 factorial or 2 times 1, that is simply times 2. So, 8 factorial times 2 factorial is equal to 80,640. So, imagine that para lang uh, magkatabi yung dalawa, they have 80,640 ways. Yun ang total chances nila para magkatabi sila. So, huwag kayong magtaka. So, kung babalik tayo sa classroom setting, at iritang irata ka na kung bakit yung kaklase mong dalawa magka-M yung lagi magkatabi, huwag ka na magtaka. Ito nga, siyam lang na bata, siyam lang, ang, uh, siyam lang sila magkakaklase. Meron na silang 80,640 ways na or paraan para magkatabi sa, na, para magkatabi na upuan. So imagine that, what if 50 students pa yan? So yon totoo yung sinasabi sa kanta na, uh, kung gusto, uh, kung ayaw, madaming dahilan, kung gusto, napakaraming paraan. Okay? Yun lang. Okay. Next. Recap tayo. Andre and Pauline wish to stay together. So, ang arrangement natin, meron tayong siyam na upuan. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Kaso si Andre at si Pauline gusto magkatabi. So, pwede, rin, pwede mauna si Andre tapos si Pauline. Yung pangalawang arrangement naman, mauna si, mauna si Pauline tapos si Andre. Basta at magkatabi silang dalawa. Okay? So, ang arrangement nila is automatically to factorial na. Since, uh, nag-decide yung dalawa na magtabi na automatic, ang count ng position nila ay isa na lang. Okay? Provided ang arrangement nilang dalawa ay to factorial. Okay? Next, and then, ilan pa yung sits na natitira? Ilan pa yon So, kung isa na yon 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Tapos, yung arrangement nila pang 8. Okay? So, yung pito doon na natira, lagay mo na dito. Okay? So, ilan lahat ito? Ito ay 8 factorial. Okay? Paano naging 8 factorial ulit? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And then, by counting, uh, fundamental counting principle, that is just simply 2 factorial times 8 factorial, and that is equivalent to 80,640 ways. Okay? And with that, you will be answering activity number 7, decisions from permutations. You will be answering items 1, 2, and 3. Kasama yung number 4 dyan. Hindi ko lang sinama dito sa video yung number 4 kasi yung example ng number 4 ay sa example number 2. Para masundan nyo lang yung flow kung paano siya sagutan. Okay? So, activity number 7, decisions from permutations, items 1, 2, and 3. Page 297 of your uh, learning material. So, here is activity number 7. Answer each permutation problem complete, completely. Take note of the word completely. That means you have to show 
your complete solution. Okay? Next, number one, bigyan, bigyan ko kayo ng mga clues per item. In how many different ways can you arrange eight figurines on a shelf? So, ang clue ko sa number one, ang hinahanap nyo lang dito ay N. Pag nahanap nyo na yung N, diretso na kayo sa N factorial and then solve. Okay? Next, number two. There are four uh, different mathematics books and five different science books. In how many ways can the books be arranged on a shelf? If, itong example, itong number two natin ay katulad siya ng example number one. Okay? Next, there are no restrictions. This is example number one, letter A. Next, books of the same subject must be placed together. This is example number one, letter C. Next, if they must be placed alternately, this is example number one, letter B. Okay, yun yung mga clue nyo. Next, five couples want to have their pictures taken. In how many ways can they arrange themselves in a row if couples must stay together? So, this is example uh, number one. Ang example na ito ay, let me see, letter D. Tulad siya ng letter D. Medyo tricky dito yung mga wording ha. So, pag-couple sila yon Okay? Kaya nang bala dyan. Next, letter B. They may stand anywhere. So, this one has no restriction. So, kung wala siyang restriction, ang goal mo lang, hanapin si N. Pag nahanap na si N, N factorial ka na and then solve. Okay? So, that's it. You will be answering activity number 7, decisions from permutations, items 1, 2, and 3 of page 297. If you still have questions, feel free to ask. Chat nyo lang ako, provided pag nagtanong kayo, picturean nyo na yung solution nyo, tapos isend nyo sa akin. Para makita ko kung saan, saan, saan ka nagkamali at saan yung pwede nating i-correct. Okay? So, that's it.